so once you get the uh, advancement for Zombie Doctor, then you can basically go back to your NPC. It doesn't matter what, but you'll notice that the prices are now lower. Uh, this is actually intended. So, for example, if we were to go ahead and... Um, get the trade price as you can see here for the emeralds it will actually be decreased a little bit so it went down from um, leave 16 to 4 but we still have to basically have the uh, the 16 ignits in order to have that I'm not sure why it's so close over I guess that's just the way that the tabs are set up it looks almost like it's saying that we have four emeralds and it's 16 for the price but if there's a cross out here that basically means that it's a lower price uh, this price will actually be permanent for the player that basically cures the zombie villager so um, you can do this a number of times but it's not um, going to be affected for other players that basically cure it or don't cure it so basically only the player that cures it gets these discount prices so the reason why i bring this up is because it also uh, works with the custom trades as you can see here it's just a built-in mechanic thought i would show it because um i'm not sure if people would have that question if it would actually work and in fact it does so um, yeah, as you can see over here, if we go over to this one, 16 emeralds compared to if we go over here, it's four emeralds. So uh, there's probably a little bit of a buffer price because we just cured them too. So there might be about eight or so em emeralds. So you can keep doing it a number of times until you get down to one emerald. And then you can just uh, pay the additional price. So one thing I should note is the actual distribution of basically getting an infected zombie. If it is on hard mode, as you can see it is, it will be 100% uh, infection rate. So they'll always turn into a zombie villager. However, on easy, um, they will actually just die. So there is that kind of ratio. I think normal has a certain percent that uh, will, I think like 50% or something like that. I'm not sure the exact stats, but uh, if you're on hard mode or hardcore, then they'll always turn into a zombie villager. Just something to keep in mind uh, because this trick will only work with um, the zombie villagers once you get the trades and stuff like that. So if you were to throw a weakness potion on them, hopefully not get yourself infected with the weakness potion and then give them a a uh, golden apple and this will take a couple minutes for them to cure but it's not too hard for uh, the, to use this method now you can do it a bunch of times uh, if you have a gold farm or go into the nether and somehow um, get a bunch of gold and stuff like that or my gold here then you can make a golden apple uh, it's just the basic one it's not the enchanted one you don't really need the enchanted one but uh, to craft that up, all you need is, I believe, if I remember correctly, nine gold ignits and one apple. And you craft it up in a uh, just a regular crafting table. Uh, what this will do is you'll also need to brew a weakness potion. I believe what you need for that is... can't remember offhand, but I think it's just a... Yeah, I honestly can't remember what it is. Uh, it's something. I think it's either a spider eye. I think it's a spider eye, a fermented spider eye, maybe. And then you just ferment the spider eye. I think it gives you a weakness potion, which is quite possible. I, I can't remember. I did it in the series that I worked on uh, for 1.18, the most recent one. Um, well, when was that? It was the. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was called Husbandry, or... Uh, I can't remember the name, but I'll link to it in the description if you guys want to go check out the series. But uh, I cured a couple zombies that way and ended up getting really good trade prices. So once this guy is fully uh, cured up, he's shaking, so we know that he's going to be cured pretty soon and there's particles flying around. So we'll just wait for that, and then I'll cut back in when he's... Um, all cured up. 
right guys welcome back to another m crater tutorial so today what we're going to be covering is the new village trade thing i've had some time to play around with it and it's pretty simple but uh i think we could probably use a tutorial for just learning how the element works and some basic village mechanics so over here I have a couple different stalls set up and in here I have a just a regular zombie for showing you something later on. Um, we'll be basically curing a zombie villager with our custom trade. So over here I have three armors. They all have their little workstations in front of them behind, well I guess behind them <laughs> for us. And um, yeah, so if you open up the first guy over here, we have you can see that I've already unlocked the the trade that for getting a diamond. Now this isn't actually a recipe in the actual armor; it's not obtainable that way. But if we give him 16 emeralds, 16 iron, and then we can get one diamond for that particular trade. Now that's a custom trade, so if we go ahead and grab a bunch of these, and then we can basically trade a bunch of times. A little bit OP but um, he'll probably level up and uh, now we can basically turn it back into an emerald which is kind of really expensive but it, um, you know it's just for an example so basically that's what it is uh, they'll spawn with custom trades and stuff that you can basically have uh, this isn't for custom villagers or NPCs just a simple vanilla um, vanilla trades and stuff like that for villagers all right so this guy also has this the trade over here so i want to make basically infect him he's already got a little bit of a um progress with the thing he's unlocked these extra two trades he spawned with these two and i basically just want to infect him a little bit and hopefully he'll move over the zombie will be able to reach him i'm not sure if he will be able to or not uh, might need to put a villager on this side just to attract a zombie back over um, another thing that we could do is we could just um, put a minecart down uh, that should work I'll just place it there and like that like that. Might need to get up here a little bit. Okay, I'm not sure if he'll be able to get. Alright, All right, just give me a sec. I'll get this guy infected and uh, we can cure him up. Alright, so now we can take a look after we've done that. We can take a look at the actual features for the trade now if you want to create a new trade what you want to do is you want to go to the green plus icon under mod elements and then there's one down here under the 20 or 2022.1 workspace which is called villager trades once you have that uh, element give it an element name i've called this one uh, diamond trade armor armor and in here, you'll see that there is just some basic settings uh, set up for uh, the trade. Now, you can also add a, another profession, and you can do multiple trades per uh, one trade. So it's actually really handy with uh, this because if you wanted to, say, add another, the same trade to a, um, for example, uh, we have this particular recipe for diamonds, we might want to add this to a toolsmith or a weaponsmith and we can also do that under the same one uh, for just under the same uh, proceed or element so we don't need to make it multiple times it's also easy to keep track of what we've set up for our settings and stuff like that uh, the price one which is the required price this is the one that you're going to get discounts on so uh, for example uh, the emerald we have it set to 16 this is the default price for the emeralds uh, if you trade multiple times though the price will go up a little bit so just keep that in mind when you are basically setting it up now the the price when you do trade a lot of times is going to be affected by the price mul multiplier which is this one right here it's on the side here so basically if we trade too many times and he runs out of stock 
or you know stuff like that then what he will do is he will increase it by this percent um, I'm not sure the exact percent like how it's basically going to be in fact like affected by the actual thing I think it's multiplied so for example, if we were to have 16 emeralds, it might multiply it by 0 0.1. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I know that the default uh, value for the when you create a new one is 0 0.05. So you might want to keep that the same. I don't know. Play around with it. Uh, the other slot is optional, which is the price 2. So this one's optional. You can basically have things like uh, when you want to turn flint into or uh, gravel into flint you would basically go put your emeralds in the first slot your gravel in the second slot and then you would do your flint in your um, offered item slot so this is with the offered item slot this is basically what you get in return and the boxes on the side here are just basically the amount of items that you get or uh, basically require to basically craft that up the level is basically for the villager level uh, for what he has unlocked. Uh, basically, what will happen is it will have a chance to generate for that particular level. So, for example, uh, new villagers, if you want them to always show the trade when you first spawn them, then you can just leave it as the default one, which is the uh, first level here. Uh, master is the final one uh, for fully upgraded you can choose any one of those five between here and it will basically apply it to unlock when the villager has um, reached that level for trading uh, the max trades this basically um, means basically how many times can this trade be used uh, before they needs to be refreshed by the NPC at a uh, at a workstation so again we can trade 16 times for uh before he needed to go ahead and refresh the trades now the default one default time or default number for that is 10 and you can set that to whatever number you want i'm not sure if there's a maximum number or whatever like that probably like 64 or something like i don't know um the xp given this is basically how much xp you get for trading with them i'm not sure if five is the actual value of the default villagers it seems like villagers actually trade a lot higher than five points um because like when you breed an animal you get like five right so it doesn't really make sense for it to be five so you might want to increase that number to a little bit higher uh, outside of that, the other one is the price multiplier, and that's basically the um, the thing for the trades where you basically increase the price when he basically trades when you trade with him too many times, and then he might increase the price for a little period, and then it will go down eventually over time back to the original. Uh, you'll also notice that there is a not just a uh, profession tab here that you can basically select but you can also add another entry for the villager as well uh, I'm not sure how this all works it might also count as a group uh, or it might be separate uh, I'm not sure exactly but same system as a loot table uh, you can basically just set out your new prices and stuff like that it will be still for the armorer though so if you want to make another um, trade for different um, things like a different profession then you'll have to create one through a different profession and then select the profession you want but if it's under the same profession then you can basically just add another entry and you can also remove entries by just removing it here you can also remove the profession by clicking the button up here so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out